press the bell icon and never miss an update from ET Auto. Hello and welcome to ET Auto. As we talk about electric vehicle, I have somebody who started, who rather pioneered electric vehicle in India with the Riva. And today he is taking another yet very important or rather crucial step towards supporting electrification of fleet in India. Welcome to ET Auto, Chetan Maniji. You brought in Riva, your group. Now today you are uh, bringing a solution for battery swapping, an entire system. Can you tell us more about how it's going to work and what kind of support you are going to provide in transportation industry? So, you know, with over 20 years of working electric vehicles, I said, why haven't they really taken off? And three things kept coming to my mind. That vehicles are still very expensive, driven by battery costs. That people are really concerned about the range anxiety and how much they can drive. And the third part was a long refueling time. You know, you can charge vehicles in five to eight hours or fast charge them in one hour, but anything over five minutes seems an eternity. The other point is there wasn't really an infrastructure available. So we said, if we're going to solve the issues of making transportation go in a large way electric in the country to meet India's 2030 emissions, this is critical for us to do. And so what we said is, if you separate the batteries from vehicles, you can get vehicles, be it two-wheelers, three-wheelers, four-wheelers, or in this case, buses, to be potentially cost-neutral, right? And the cost of energy can now be also on, on par or lower than gasoline or diesel vehicles. So by this, we address the fundamental issue on cost. By creating swapping technologies that swap in just two to three minutes, there goes the issues related to range anxiety. Now for the first time, you've got a solution that's cost economical and refueling is faster, cheaper, and more convenient than gasoline. So how soon you can build a reasonable you know, network of swapping booth that you're, show, you're showcasing just now? Uh, because it's, India is a very vast country. How do you want to start? Do you, do you want to start with a particular uh, state, city? Uh, how is the plan uh, going forward? And you are also starting battery pack manufacturing here. We don't manufacture cell yet, but you have started with battery pack. Can you tell us about that also? Sure. So, uh, in the case of buses, what we're seeing is that uh, the, smart, the 11 smart city tenders coming out and several cities are moving towards electric buses. So, uh, Ashok Lila and us are jointly going into some of them and going to be bidding to say how do we can give a full solution to cities. So, that would be our first area. Right. You know, these, these stations are quite compact. We can install them in a couple of days in, in, a, in, a, in a depot, right? And so, therefore, setting up infrastructure becomes much easier. Also, each of these stations can do around 300 bus swaps a day, right? Now imagine if you, you want to charge 300 vehicles, the kind of space you need it. Now we need a space that's probably 120 at the size to look at it. So it's going to be much easier, and we're going to select city by city as we go as the plan for the Indian government goes forward and provide full scale solutions. How do, how do you make this uh, model profitable? Because I hardly understand that there is going to be a profitability because we don't have much of electric way, uh, buses running and there are going to be a different size and different types of uh, uh, requirement for like cars. A Mercedes will probably require a different kind of uh, kind of uh, battery than a Maruti Suzuki Swift or something of that sort. So let's take the case of buses. So this one bus, this one solution fits 9 meter, 10 meter, 11 meter and 12 meter buses. So for all buses in the country it meets the requirement. Now, some buses in cities travel 100, some travel 150, 200, or 300 kilometers. Imagine if you had ranges of fixed batteries for each one, how complex it would be. Here, you can just do additional two more swaps in a day. So suddenly, you have one solution that can fit every city requirement, every bus requirement. It's also modular. You can use a couple of them for other applications and increase the range if you need to. So what we've created is a unique solution. Now, the solution for cars would be different. Right, where we compatible across multiple. So, products. how do you deal with the design? Because the space, etc., the size of the battery that has to uh, be, you know, uh, unique with every vehicle. If we so to start off with, we're focusing on buses and three wheelers and two wheelers. In the case of buses, the space in the rear is fairly empty. That's where the two se the seats are there, or in a rear engine, it's there. So we've got to manage a space that's similar for most buses, and it's quite identical. 
if you think of three wheelers and two wheelers, similarly, the spaces are fairly easy to do and therefore you don't have a problem of integration on this front, right? Coming to cars, it's very doable, but there needs to be much more coordination, as you rightly pointed out. So we see cars as the last step, but we're looking at shared mobility across platforms. And if you can do it for a 500 kilogram battery for a bus, everything else is far easier as you so look at it. Suppose today uh, you're talking about a show Leyland. So the design and structure of Ashok Leyland vehicle will, may be different from what Mahindra or Tata or others are providing. So uh, as a provider, do you think you will be able to service other OEMs as well? So um, with Leyland, we do have a, a strategic tie-up where we will be exclusive for a period of time. But our long-term area would be that it needs to be open architecture. The solutions are for India. And to give you an idea, you know, this was... We signed up seven months ago and you, see, you can see a working solution. So, so how do you want to scale up this business? So what is the scalable model that you want to adopt? How much you want to invest in this? So the model is extremely scalable. It works on different applications with different vehicle companies on this area. Um, you know, we are going to this year demonstrate the technologies, do pilots. We start to see some scale production by the end of this year as buses start to grow in. You will see more solutions to be announced in, in the next few months, which will be for other forms of transportation. So I think this year is going to be a year of piloting and trialing different cities. Can you give us some more number? Uh, have you got some investors on this? So uh, Uday and I, as partners, have already have already invested in the business. How uh, much on this have area. invested? Well, we normally don't look at numbers on this on this area or talk a lot about it. But a business like this over time will need hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, and the nice thing about our partnership and, and, and that we have here is that they've got that experience of bringing that kind of monies in over time. And, and we see this as the next shift on industry. And we don't see that as a problem. There's a lot of interest today on we grow it. At this stage, we, we've got everything for the technology development, but like any infrastructure business that grows, it's going to need structured investments uh, across platforms, and we'll create those platforms. Thank you so much, uh, Chetan, for talking Thanks to so you. Thanks so much.